Okay, my friends, I'm going to make this as brief as I can. It's a little complicated. What is reality? <laughs> it's smidge complicated. Now, I do, as you can see, I follow the Royal Institution. And I, I go head to head with them on almost everything. Because you understand my mud fossil you know, uh, work. It's obvious that they're not right about geology. And they're not right about physics either and light and energy because uh, I can show it now he's made the claim on here he's talking about what's reality he's talking about the Big Bang and evolution and all the particles and they kind of understand this and that and there's a couple things they don't understand but pretty much they they got it down um, however he makes the claim he's a physicist he makes the claim nobody has ever seen the gravity particle and I claim absolutely and I have seen it, and I can show it to you right now. Okay, if you watch that whole video um, that the fellow is talking about, this is the dark matter right now, and that is the muon. This is the electron neutrino, which is exactly what CERN is looking for. Now, if we're going to be talking about reality, I'm going to get deep into this in a moment. But before I do, we've got to really talk about another phase of reality that's, that can't be ignored. Now, again, I don't mean to be disrespectful, arrogant, nasty, any of that, but this is reality, and, and it's being denied. That is a giant fish. I'm sorry, it's a giant fish. This is North Africa. You have Google Earth. If you deny this, that's fine, but come up and look at it for yourself. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I have dozens and dozens of videos about this. That's the dragon's neck. That's his throat. This is the flashy stuff that goes down the side of the dragons in the parades. This is the runoff of the dying, decomposing body fluids, which are an effluent. This is the size of the dragon's body, it runs all the way down to here. This is his tail over here, which is also decaying in the desert. And this stuff was written about in the ancient text. Now, if we're going to talk about reality, we got to go from here first. This is never going to happen. Until you talk to me about this, everything else is meaningless. Now, but I also have evidence to support that dark matter does exist, and I've shown it, and gravitons exist, and I've shown that too. Now, CERN knows that this muon neutrino and electron showers exist. They don't know that they were originally together as one particle. That's the black ball. That was the white ball. When they come through there, they're just attached and everything's good. They're light. But when they crash through a venturi and they are crushed into each other's regions, the black balls are pushed away. They just pushed out of the region. And the white ones continue on. And here's what that is. Oh, yeah, you saw what her, CERN said. They're looking for a white particle that sprays, and a black particle does nothing. I'm going to show you that. This is the original light. This is the light accelerating, and the particle that is inside of the light, which creates the wave in front of it, because the wave is nothing more than a a magnetic zone that is in front of the particle. As it moves, the magnetic zone moves in front of it, creates a wave. We force that particle to, to accelerate because of the Venturi. When that happened, something that we didn't expect, the particle showed up as a photon. And then the photons accept, is separated. And here's what happened right here. This particle showed up. That one right there. You see it? Black and white, black and white, side to side. That's like two bar magnets, side to side. And that's all a photon is. It's, it's a, a neutral-ish particle, and that bounces. Now, if that was just a single particle, I have little representations here somewhere. Here it is. If it was just one of these, instead of a two, a, a, a photon, this is an electron. That'll hurt you. If there's enough of them at the same time, they, they will incorporate into your water molecules and explode you. Photon's different. That'll hit you and bounce off of you. And it depends on how hard it's hitting and what it's hitting, how, how it responds back and what color you see. That's what photons are. And that's a photon. That is the muon. That is the electron neutrino. Now you saw what sir is looking for, a muon. An electron neutrino. These things, they say, oh, nobody can find these. Well, I found them. Rod found them just by 
doing little experiments, and here they are. That was that photon coming in right here. And here's the black balls. Those are the muons. There's the white shower. That is electron neutrinos. That's all it is. The electrons continue. The black ones get pushed out of the way. Now, they come back. They want to be back with these white guys, but they don't want to be there while they're in this violent concussive phase. This is a single slit. These are not repulsion patterns. Uh, well, they're repulsion patterns. They're not interference patterns. There's no flappy waves coming through here. I understand exactly why this happens. It's because light is a spinning particle. And it literally is identical to that right there. That's the particle. It's a magnet. It has a positive and a negativeness to it. You saw up and down both sides. It spins just like this. And as it hits the venturi, sometimes particles go to that side. Some particles go under and go out to this side. Most of them come right through the center because there's a ton of these different particles coming. It's not just one. They're all being forced into this region, but there's some here, some over here, some here, some here. They're coming all over the place, but they're getting forced into this region, which sucks the particle right out of the wave. And at that point right here, this, which is this, explodes. It just explodes like a bomb. And then it comes out here. The black particles go here. Now, the same particles that are the black particles here, which are the muons, the gravitons, the dark matter, do not jump ahead and go over here. So all I can take away from this is that this spray of electrons found somebody else to snuggle up to over here. Right? Now, we could test this by putting in a complete barrier here that will only allow what comes through to interact over here. So we know the black ones are going to get out of the way. So they're going to stay on this side. The white ones are going to come through. If they find a whole bunch of black ones over here right away, we know there's a whole bunch of extra black ones laying around. And I'm sure that's what it is. And they say there is excessive dark matter, I believe now is what they're saying, than there is concussive white matter in the electrons. And I have no reason to dispute that. I'm seeing these things jump. They're trying like hell to get back to these white particles. They want to be snuggled up. That's their mission in life is to pull these babies together, pull everybody. They're gravitons. So I have some pretty solid evidence here to present. And it's simple stuff. This can be looked at in a matter of a couple of days. There's no big scaling up here. So I'd love to have some interaction. Anyway, I sent all, all this stuff. I've sent it off so many times to so many people. I've never had any interaction. But I'm sending it to this guy who's making these statements, and I am making my counter statements. I'm hoping we're going to hear. I'm going to come back to him now. I think they're going to have some questions and answers. I, 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 hold on a second. Here it goes. All right. All, he's talking about gravity and quantum theory. All it is is gravity just means you're going to bring the particles back together. It's obvious that you can apply it to matter. Matter comes together. Somehow it accumulates. And the reason it accumulates is the dark particles that I just showed you. If I, it, I think I was in that. I showed you a minute ago. Here goes. Listen to this. Ready? So just as when you apply quantum theory to electromagnetism, uh, you are you find that the electromagnetic field actually uh, exists in units called photons. That uh, the electromagnetic radiation can be thought of as made out of uh, particles called photons. Uh, the quantum theory applied to gravity tells you that gravitational radiation uh, should be made out of individual particles called gravitons. Now. Uh, the existing experiments on gravitational radiation, uh, sensitive as they are, uh, really are monitoring the effects of many, many gravitons acting together. <laughs> We're working on, I showed you a single ball, single black balls, those are gravitons. Uh, so you can't detect whether there's one more or less based on uh, the response of the LIGO detector or the, any, any, any existing experiments. The existing experiment I just display, I just talked about was at the Venturi, keep all the dark particles this side, and if they come back in over this side, we know that they came from somewhere else. So they're laying around somewhere. They didn't just pop from nowhere. Uh, but uh, there's hope. 
I think, and that's one thing I'm working on these days, is that uh, the, there may be uh, effects that uh, are uh, more complex that have, that have been taken into account so far in the theory of gravitational radiation, where quantum mechanics really plays an important role. I think these uh, could arise in the last moments of black hole mergers, which is one of the things that's studied at, at these detectors. And because quantum mechanics becomes important, in, in uh, theoretically in those regimes, I'm thinking hard about uh, ways that that might be accessed experimentally. All right, let me just make one statement. I know I probably have said this about 10 times, but until you understand electron flood theory, there, it, it, the, the Bohr model doesn't work. They know it doesn't work. No way in the world does it work. This is the only particle that exists, and 1837 of them are equal to a proton. 1838, which is a neutral number, is equal to a neutron. That's all it is. And they, they maintain stability at these numbers. So you hydrogen, and then you got helium, and then you got lithium, and so forth goes up the line by these quantities, plus they throw in a couple of neutrons. And, and um, that's the only way that a nucleus can work with the electrons in its cloud formation. You can't have one gigantic positive and then have a couple little negatives and have them all equal. It doesn't work. It absolutely doesn't work. My, the electron flood theory works for every single application. You show me one in it that I can not show you. I can, I, you show me any mystery that sh exists and I can, I can show you why electron flood theory is, can, can solve it. I mean, there's things that exist on the face of the Earth that I, I don't know how they got here, but I know that they're made out of molecules. <laughs> but it, but it's, that's the future. At present, there's, uh, uh, we've, uh, we have good theoretical grounds because it's the logical synthesis of quantum mechanics and gravity leads us to predict the existence of gravitons, but so far there's no direct evidence yes, there for is. the effects of individual gravitons. Yep, there is. Fantastic. Uh, so I think uh, we'll, we'll start to bring things to a, to a close, but uh, I'd be remiss if I uh, didn't uh, give a shout out to everyone who's been uh, chatting away in the in the live chat. And so I thank you very much for all of your comments. I'm really sorry we haven't been able to get through every, everything. There's been a few, I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, I'm not a professional physicist, but there's there's been a few people in the chat that have maybe been suggesting alternative theories or, or their alternative view of uh, mm -hmm. physics, which, you know, uh, far be it from me to disagree with your view of physics, Frank, but some people have taken it upon themselves to uh, to, to, to come up with their own interpretations. Um, somebody uh, called, who's called wow. themselves the Time Lord uh, says uh, that the uh, the relativity and quantum mechanics seem incompatible because of the false belief that time slows down near massive objects. It doesn't. The measurement of time is slowed down. Now, I just wonder if you'd like to comment on that, and how would we know if it was the measurement or the thing itself? So, all right, I, I'm not going to go any further with this. This, this is all just nonsense because, it, it, you know, time slowed down. How the hell do you know that? That's ridiculous. I'm showing the actual physical evidence that supports exactly what they're looking for, and nobody will discuss it. You can walk, they walk around in circles in every single field in science because of people that have this, the microphone, and then they shut you off. Now... This is what happens. All right, I put this up, I don't know, a half hour or so ago, and it's still up here, but I haven't, haven't come off this page. Now, we're going to refresh this page and see if I stay up here. Well, they took the last one down, and this is the Royal Institute. They know who I am, I guarantee you that. Uh, let's see if I stay up here or I am gone. Here goes, I refresh this. Boom. Here we go, Frank. You mentioned we understand very well. Yeah, they understand very well. Let's see. I'm still here. 49 minutes ago. I'm going to give myself a thumbs up. <laughs> Let's see what I believe we split a photon. This is the research and experiment results, including pictures. And you click on it. Hyundai complimentary and maintenance. This Standard is my on light acceleration scene. It might That's be free energy. Uh was this particle, as I will show you. Now, let's see what they have to say if I stay up there. That would be really amazing. I did send it off to him all of my information. He's at, uh, uh, what the hell is he? MIT. 
Let's see what happens.